Hey guys, it's Chassis 1202 talking about the Chassis 7 update one year anniversary to be released on May 31. This is the costume update. Thank you for avoiding the puddle, the guy that posts a lot of Chassis 7 stuff. This is the story content that they're focusing on, and great job, Bandai. I thought they were kidding about these costumes too, but they actually already put them in the game, which is gonna be shown on Tuesday the 31. Probably this week. Oh my god. Also, we have a lot of stuff like for Kuma and Metallic. What you saw there was face stamps. That's not important to me at all. So, here is a character panel set for every character like you see Kasia, Master Raven, Eliza, Vegas, Lucky Chloe, and Josie. That's a lot of panels. And also for Christmas set. Christmas country set. And for, yes, you do have more stuff, like, um, the health pages and stuff. Yeah, a lot of customization stuff. And here is, for example, they release Oyewa, I'm sorry, Oyewa and Oyewa hairstyles, nice and face stamps, not important. Um, the only thing I really liked about this is actually they added a Nina costume from Blood of Vengeance. In the story, you can see the costume, but in the... People actually hacked Tekken 7, they actually took the model one from Demon or you can find that there too. And people are speculating, the Lars costume, which is a wrestling costume that he's wearing. I feel good it, I thought it looks badass. And good job, they actually played sense. I thought you were gonna skip it, but nope. A lot of Nose is fans, but they really want this costume. He didn't know that. I thought people were like, what? Russell after King, the metallic color. Well, it is actually, it's like a silver colored version of it. I don't really care about metallic, so I thought this was cool. You're cool. I don't think you're boring. I think it looks nice. For Rakuma, again, the skeleton color pattern. Again, it's like a color pattern. For each Rakuma and Panda, you actually saw that picture. Go look it up on Voidify.com. Alright, for Eliza, swimsuit Christmas outfit. Of course, people are gonna ask for this costume at least. Hey, look, it's actually kind of cool and all, but it's actually kind of funny when you're dressing them up. They look naked almost, which is kind of funny for me for this costume. For Jin, people have been waiting for a long time. The Desert Jin from the story mode for the Tekken 7 story. We know that Double Jin has his outfit too, and Desert Jin is already in the game, but you can still find this outfit in Treasure Battle. Really nice idea, thank you Bandai, because we were waiting for this costume, we're gonna have fun playing with it next Friday. Alright, so these are taken from Demon Art. For Desert Gen, you have so many choices, this is model works actually, and it looks really cool. One that I have to mention, what happened to the other ones, like Shinakuma, the pain in the ass one that you're fighting, Shinakuma with Devil Kasuya, looking badass, Shinakuma. I wish that was in the game too. Probably next year, actually. Who knows? For Kazumi, it's Devil Kazumi. I like this costume a lot. I've seen model webs of Tekken 7. You summon power in the story mode, you summon power in arcade. That's it. Oh my guys, I'm signing off. Bye guys, Cassie Toaster 2, signing off. Bye guys.